For such a small part, O-rings can have a big impact on your equipment's performance. Let's look at how to select and install new O-rings. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. When you're about to install a new O-ring, make sure you have the right one. You can order a general use kit like this one from your dealer. It'll have the rings you need most often. But don't simply pick according to color or size. There is no industry standard for colors. And even if it's the right size, the material could react poorly to the fluid that's being sealed. Here you can see a new ring. The one above it is the exact same ring, but it got damaged when it was submerged in the wrong fluid. Check material and fluid compatibility using this chart in your One Safe Source catalog. And for more help, talk to your cat dealer. Once you're sure you have the right ring, check that it's been properly stored. Keep O-rings packaged till you're ready to use them and only install brand new rings. You don't want to reuse them and make sure the rings you have aren't too old. Rubber, for example, has a shelf life of five to 10 years. Your One Safe Source catalog lists several more tips for taking care of O-rings. Once you're ready, prepare your machine for service. Remove the old ring using a brass or plastic pick. Other tools can damage the groove. Clean the groove with a lint-free wipe. Your cat dealer can help you find which O-ring installation tool you need. Insert the ring through this slot. Now, put the end of the fitting onto the tool and press the plunger. Make sure the O-ring is secure by doing a finger sweep. If it feels right and looks right, you're good to go. For more information and support, contact your cat dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.